Vulcan Deckmasters, week three, day uh, day one. It's a little bit of a surprise because Frodan had to bail during the break and I kind of stepped in back to my uh, usual position. Um, so yeah, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so Amaz, have you had a great day? I haven't been able to watch at all. Yeah, I mean, the games were pretty interesting. People made some good moves here and there. We saw that Druid is actually really bad because it loses to... Um, Everything, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, if it doesn't overdraw, like, it, I mean, draw a godlike hand, it's pretty tough sometimes to beat uh, the entire metagame, basically, at this point. Right. So, um, we have some, we have two more matches left, but they're very exciting, right, Noxious? Yeah, we got Gar versus Trump, I think, and Forsen versus Tilo, unless I'm mistaken, and you guys played it in that order. I mean, I couldn't watch and keep track since I uh, had okay. internet problems all day long, um, unfortunately. But I know that Trump, I think, just won the HTC, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that's, that's going to, uh, I mean, he's on a pretty good streak. If he, uh, you know, carries that momentum forward in this tournament, then maybe he's going to be taking it up against Gara. But Gara's not doing too bad as far as his uh, recent performance. I mean, he's... Uh, he needs, he needs to get, like, another big win under his belt. Yeah, that's true. And uh, Gar did play Priest in the other tournament, so I'm going to be excited if he does bring that again. Uh, but yeah, Trump is coming off very hot through a tournament, and um, he's going to be feeling very confident, I believe. So yeah. I would say that Trump is a favorite in this match, at least. So Gar is actually bringing Shaman, Warlock, Hunter, and Trump has Rogue, Paladin, and Hunter. The Warlock from Gar is banned, and the Hunter from Trump is banned. So Gar is going to be bringing the flagship Shaman class, which again, you know, I love to see. Not a class you see very often uh, recently. Priest and, either, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Gar does come up with a very creative deck list, right? Um, he does all sorts of crazy stuff. So uh, maybe the Shaman is a, uh, you know, new type of Shaman. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be Mech Shaman because he doesn't really like it. Uh, he told me before he doesn't really like aggro classes in general. So, uh, hope to see something new. Maybe some Neptulon Murlocs. That would be pretty insane. Yeah, uh, a comeback from... Uh, like it, It's funny how Neptulon was considered you know, a pretty good legendary for a while because, hey, you know, it gives you four cards and it's, it's yeah, won games before. The problem is, well, it's weak to the same thing as a Doctor Boom is, plus it's way too slow. You know, the overload is really... Uh, a big problem often. If you don't already win, it's like a win more card very often. Sure. But yeah. then there are situations where both players kind of run out of cards and you're really happy to draw four, mur four Murlocs actually at that right. point. Um, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, hmm. Guard not bringing Priest is definitely a setback though. I'm pretty... I want to see some Priest play. I haven't well, seen I mean, Priest in like ages. What do you think of the lineup? Like, Trump with Rogue and Paladin, I think those two classes are really good um, against yeah. the Shaman. Like, that alone from Gara is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, unless there's something different about Shaman that I just haven't picked upon, but I think Rogue and Pally are pretty solid against it. Yep. It could be a pretty tough uh, series of matchups, because being a Conquest format, obviously, you know, he's got to win with the Shaman against at least one of his opponents, but Trump's classes are both... Actually, the three classes that Trump brought were effective against Shaman. With yeah. the Hunter being banned, I mean, that that's still... Uh, that's still a good matchup, pretty much, yeah. yeah. And, like, even ju uh, analyzing just the hero powers for Shaman and Paladin, uh, you pretty much want a 1-1 one -one instead of a 0-2, right? So, by that itself, like, even if it's like a stalemate where nobody plays any cards, the Paladin hero power just run over the Shaman, so... Maybe, a lot of people actually say that the weakness of uh, Shaman is actually the hero power. Do you agree with that? Well, I think the randomness of it makes for a bit of a problem because like it, number one there's the randomness of it a lot of people like it i'm not a big fan of it and i've never been but uh -huh. there's also the big problem that in some cases it's even worse than the priest hero power because it's not proactive <laughs> like it's not okay. proactive and it's not necessarily going to give you what you need so it's like kind of uh it can backfire a lot Sure. I guess you can say that every hero, um, hero power that's like kind of active and you can use it uh, any turn uh, is really good. So like the rogue right. hero power is kind of... I actually treat the rogue hero power as kind of like a wild growth if you use it on turn two, right? Because you can keep the weapon for later. There's right. no hero power that you can actually save for later use except for the rogue. 
Yeah, you kind of equip a dagger for future use, so you, you're basically guaranteed value. It's just not there yet. Um, yeah, exactly. Very frequently. I like that. That's a good way to look at it. I like this. This idea of a wild growth <laughs> uh, hero power. That sounds so balanced. Yeah, because yeah, they always wild growth at turn two, every single time, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like they can't miss that drop. It's perfect. So Rogue is the better druid. Um, so, like, what's Trump's experience with Rogue? Because, like, I don't think I've seen him play too much of it. I remember a long time ago, back in beta, he played, like, this rogue control deck with assassin's blade but like i haven't seen him play much of it since like i haven't seen him personally but i've been hearing from at least my uh, archon teammates that got, uh, trump has been playing a little bit of rogue in the uh, in the stream so i'm pretty sure he's gonna do pretty well and actually bringing rogue against gara is very smart right uh he's probably gonna play shaman so um, yeah there you go. that is a good matchup i know that well i'm not really good at rogue either right but in via game my opponent brought shaman as well right so he picked Shaman, and then I was like, okay, I guess I'll pick Rogue, because... Just um, because, yeah. It's such a, such a messed up uh, matchup, right? Just Flora, you know it kills everything, and uh, they're not going to put a lot of pressure on the bird board early on, especially if they're not Mech Shaman, right? Yeah, it's actually going to be... Like, I think Mech Shaman is, for that reason, kind of the surprise factor, like, when it became popular, was the fact that it actually beat uh, Midrange Hunter, and... It did pretty well against the class that we used to think was pretty much dominating uh, the Shaman class. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so Gara's going to be jumping in with his Hunter list versus Trump's Druid, I think. No, who's that? That's a Pally, oh. that's right. <laughs> I'm like, that what is, is that? There's no Druid in the list. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, close enough, man. right? Yeah, yeah they're both sure. pretty rapid classes and whatnot. I believe that Trump will be playing the uh, Control Paladin and not the... Um, more aggressive paladin we see nowadays with like lots of divine shields and plus yeah. his divine favorite for draw. No, no, I, I agree with you. I think the mid range paladin is falling out of favor a little bit. Um, a lot of people opt for the more control, you know, the older style of paladin nowadays. Mm -hmm. People try to make dragon paladin work so much, but it never really did get successful, right? What do you mean, man? When I saw BRM, everybody was like, this Dragon Paladin is gonna take over the world. And then, for like an entire week, everybody who played Dragon Valley was stuck at rank 15. And they said, you know what? Screw this. I'm going back to an actual deck. Yeah. The unfortunate truth. That's just, just too bad. And, um, yeah. It looks like uh, Trump's hand is actually pretty decent. Should a minibot to contest the uh, scientists, and then you have the knife juggler muster combo. Yeah, uh, he seems to be playing the mid-range pally though, based on uh, that hand. Well, even mid-range pallies have two different versions, right? You can play the version with like double quartermaster and really put on the pressure. Yeah. Or you can obviously curve higher if you want. We can't. We don't really know what it is yet. All right, there's also a, a resurgence of. Uh, have you heard about a lot of people liking the Kodo again? You know, the, un the Stampeding Kodo. Oh. A lot of people say that card's actually amazing because it deals with Imp Gang Boss, it deals with Acolyte of Pain, it deals okay. with Armored Smiths, and all sorts of things. So it seems to be getting a bit more love than it used to for a little bit. That actually like might make sense because if you're outdooring something and codoing it afterwards, it's actually not really that effective, right? Because outdoor effectively yeah. just removes the minion off the board. So if you have stuff like, like you said, and you have Gnomish Inventor and even Flame Waker, right? Yeah. That actually might make sense. Yeah. Gotta love the codo. It's kind of falling out of uh, hmm. popularity. But Trump with the Muster for Battle after the Knife Juggler. The thing is, Gar really doesn't want to use an Unleash here. Like, it kind of sucks. Right. So you're just playing the second Creeper, I'm guessing, is like the logical play yeah i mean you can also unleash after the muster it's pretty pretty much the same thing right yeah all right oh. well is there a trap up there's a trap up right yeah it, it could be snake trap and if it is snake trap because uh, we saw him play snake trap in his hand in the mulligan he's gonna get yeah. a perfect consecration i mean okay. it doesn't get much better than this or is it better to use muster here no. I don't know about that. Yeah, Consecrate is too good. Okay, we'll take it then. Oh man. Ooh. Gar shaking his head a little bit. That was not what he wanted to see. Yeah. Well, double Shredder in hand at least. There's a bit of Argus in that Hunter deck. How much of that have you seen? Not really much. And Argus does make sense with Snake Trap, right? It's to force yeah. your opponent to kill your stuff. So I'm pretty much expecting stuff like Belcher and even like a Death Lord maybe. Uh, I can see that happening. 
I like it too. It's kind of a. Uh, it's exactly Gara's style to put in stuff like Defend of Argus because it's not even that bad. It's just unexpected. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, no matter how many knives hits this shredder, um, Gar has. Uh, Trump has a good follow up because he has that two attack minion. So that probably just hope this off if this knife juggle misses. Oh no! Unstable ghoul. Oh no, it's not that. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the ghoul! Be oh, that would man. be so amusing. Unstable ghoul or doomsayer would have both been Thank devastating you. here for uh, for Trump. And Thank Gara you. would oh, be Trump uh, doing a little bit of BMing here. Oh, yeah, it's. Well I don't know what's happening here. Unfortunately, there's no knife juggle. If Gara had knife juggle and unleash, that would be really insane. Yeah, he's got a second Consecration though. Trump's position is still very solid. Gara hasn't been able to really put a lot of pressure. And the longer the game drags on, the- Oh god, what if he didn't have that Unleash? Yeah, it would have been over immediately yeah. on the spot. But still, Trump is putting a lot of pressure. There's a Sylvanas right now to pretty much contest anything Trump puts down. Yeah, which and is like, I guess the biggest problem at this point for, uh, for Gara. Yeah, just needs board, right? You need the min your minions to do board damage into the face, and then you want to end the game with like some kill commands. Oh, and like we said, the Trump is playing the more aggressive version of mid range hunter with double quartermaster. He tends to favor that a lot. I saw him playing that like last month, but yeah. uh, he's kind of bringing that back. Mm. And so, Trump's gonna check for explosive and misdirection, <laughs> and none of those. It's not snipe either. <laughs> so I guess you're running out of choices. <laughs> At some point. Yeah. Oh, hair, not not exactly good actually. Never mind. N not yet. Yeah. Not not anymore. Rather. Okay. So Hunter's Mark would actually deny Sylvanas because she would trigger first, and your pilot of shredder would trigger afterwards, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, and then you just Argus whatever comes out. Uh, okay. I mean, if he goes for. Yeah, actually it makes sense. It actually makes sense to Hunter Smart the Sylvanas and kill it. Yeah, well I thought that's what he was going to do, but he, he seemed to have another play in mind. Gara is uh, really squished on the camera. Hmm, <laughs> really squished. Like, that was not what I expected you to say. Um, but I guess there is a Fusion Trap, so you kind of want to kill off the 1-1. One -one. I think that's what's going through Gara's mind right now. Ah, uh, that's probably what it is, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually a bit tricky because if you the thing is how often like when will we will you be done with the one ones? I mean, won't they just always be there? Yeah, it's like it, it doesn't then, matter. At some point, you're gonna have to give the paladin a good freezing trap almost every time. Yeah, it's always gonna be a good freezing trap. Right? Outdoor being bounced is really really good, so you yeah. Can't it, but at least it's better than freezing a one one, maybe. That's a right. easy. So what's a good shredder here? Something with three attack. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, that doesn't really help. Yeah, Gara. See, this is again the problem with mid-range hunter is when they get to dictate the tempo of the game, they take over the game very easily. When they don't, they don't have the card draw and the you know massive swing cards sufficient to really take the long game. Right. Like even playing a Savannah High Main into a, your opponent's board filled with creatures is not really that good either. Yeah. That makes sense. Ooh! Owl. We have an Owl. Probably... Man, do you this is just... Uh, do you Iron Beak, Sylvanas, then Hunter's Market? And then... Really? No, I think I you think actually... I think you just double trade if you're going to do anything. Oh, yeah, so double trade the Sylvanas, and then you probably just want to out the 3-3. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's something. Like, yeah, yeah. like Otherwise, what do you want to do? You want to Harrison the 1-1 weapon? Not really. Oh, come on, man. It belongs in a museum. Then again, I guess if you're, like, silencing out the 1-1 oh, and taunting up the Owl, you're baiting a True Silver Champion. Yeah, and then gets the Harrison. And then Harrison Jones comes out to put it in a museum. You know what? That actually is its not too bad. Yeah, it's a pretty good line. And if there's... Like, I'm not going to visit a museum with like a 1-1 one -one weapon, okay? That's just not going to work. So, oh. yeah. Sil silence on the 3-3 three -three would be perfect. <laughs> but you want to trade first. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So Gar sees it. And, uh... Yeah, this is fine. I mean, it's not fine, but... It's the yeah, best it's got all right. Yeah, let's just uh, put it that way. Yeah. It's kind of like eating broccoli when you're going out uh, at a meat restaurant. It's like, oh. yeah, it'll do the job, it'll fee fill me up, but broccoli?
Oh god. Se- seems like you have a lot of experience with that. Yeah. Sorry, man. Ketogenic diet. I have nightmares. <laughs> okay. Well, here Trump is just looking to clear the board once again. Oh no! Uh, Gonna put on the pressure of Dr. Bohm. Uh, I like that a lot. I mean, it, it, at this point, it's th- there's really nothing that can contest this Dr. Boom from Gara. Uh huh. I mean, if you've seen the play that he made last turn, what are you even afraid of? Yeah, Unleash would have been really good there for Gara, but not quite. I'm just gonna hope for a. Oh man, that's the worst one. Does he start pushing for face? I mean, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you don't have a lot of oh choice. my god, poor Gara. Oh man, okay. Well, lots of damage coming in from Trump's side now. Actually, is that lethal? Probably not, but it's got to be. He, the thing is, he's still got to make trades, so I wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be surprised if we saw him just calculate the optimal trading route. If both Boombots hit the face before, that's lethal. <laughs> like, you know what? I ca- that, that, that is probably going to happen. Uh-huh. Well, you're going to start killing the... Oh, actually, no. Consecrate. Yeah, you start with Consec to push for a bit more than okay. you could... Yeah, Weapon plus 1-1. One, one. Unless you want to use True Silver again. Yeah, you trade the 1-1 one, one and the two Boom Bots. The two Boom Bots hit face, then you True Silver. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. And here we go. Oh! Oh, that was <laughs> that was oh man. The con- that was a lethal bot. Yara dying to the instant bo- That was like 21 damage right there. That's some crazy Boom Bot. Here. <laughs> the boom got it buffed. It's not strong enough. <laughs> All right. So Trump's going to take the first game, which means he still has uh, another deck on the back end. He's got his rogue deck to face off against Gara, Shaman, and Hunter, because Gara still has to win with the two decks. The Hunter is not necessarily too bad, but mid range Hunter isn't exactly favored against Oil Rogue. In fact, I'd say that Oil Rogue usually has a bit of an edge on it. Yeah, I think people actually start playing Rogue because of the. Uh, swarm of mid range hunter bad in the days, right? Because, like, right. when, when, when uh, is it Life Coach that made the Sunshine Hunter with the yes. Savannah High Mace? And then everybody started doing it, and then people started to come with counters. And Rogue is a counter, right? Snapping a high main as a four mana swing. They can't do anything otherwise. Uh, um, the next turn, either. They just, what, replay the high main again? That's just yeah. very slow. Oh, well, Tiger for Garz, you see? It's good. I, see, I like that. Oh, you man. know? Everybody's been playing Tigers. I saw this first in Naria's deck. He was pr- like uh, deck building with Thoida, if I recall. And okay. he played two Tigers and two Juggled Panthers. Now, people have been playing Tigers in their mid range hunter now. I forget who it was last week who played it against um, one of the players in Vulcan. I-, I still forget which matchup it was in. But we've seen a lot of Stranglethorn Tigers. Oh, man. And why do you think that is? I think just the fact that it's going to contest the Sludge Belcher without being as vulnerable as Lotheb is and not as techy for a hunter that makes a lot of sense since it also enables uh, you know guaranteed Houndmaster. I really oh, like yeah, it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, the five five stat distribution is pretty sweet. It's like a, a sweet spot, you know. Yeah. All right, we don't really know what the trap is, but wow, kill command immediately. Ungar just want to remove all the minions. From Trump's also. face, <laughs> Trump's yeah. face looked priceless. There, he was like, "Really?" Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well kill you back. Okay. So uh, back to uh, Gara. I'm not mm. too much here, but at least you can set up both of these creatures. Yeah, that was really good for Gara. The the curve is pretty nice, and the Houndmaster next turn is likely to enable the creeper. But mm-hmm. Gara is at the mercy of Trump's prep at the moment. He doesn't know it, of course, but Trump really has options. Yeah. Uh, Blade Fury already set up. Fan of Knives. At least the Freezing Trap is going to enable Gara to actually use the Houndmaster. So, so that's at least something. But like you said, the, uh, the flurry that's going to come out with the prep is going to be pretty brutal. So does he have to Houndmaster here? Because if you... If you end up running into the 4-3. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you just want to have a nice stuff as soon as you have value. Oh! Oh, oh no! Gara's face. A spell power. Um, yeah, back. that's over. The board is gone, man. The board is oh, rest in no. peace. Oh, Chubb is really... <laughs> Look at his smile. He's bored. <laughs> oh, man. He's so happy about that. Well, that's over. Fan of Knives attack into Houndmaster and just... Yeah. I mean, whatever, man. Like, it doesn't matter, right? A free board clear. Like, that's good. I'll take one of those. 
Yeah, and it's not as though the two unleashes in Gar's hand are going to be very effective until Trump floods the board with valid teacher tokens. So for a little while there, Gar's hand is going to be very dry unless he picks up something off the top. Man, seems like nothing is really working out for Gar here. Trump is just debating his multiple options on how to clear this board. Uh, yeah, just has all the options in the world. Oh, man. He's, th he's thinking this through to make sure that he doesn't want to go for some kind of uh, backstab play. I guess there's an argument to be made for playing the Earthling Farce here and thus prepping your fan of Knives first so that you can get at least another minion on the board. Like, there's a few lines of play here for Trump. Oh, wow, he actually does go for the backstab, like you said. And, uh... Yeah, I like that okay. so much. That's I really like that play. Just forcing the, uh, the ghoul to kill everything. Right, it would have actually got punished by, say, a uh, Iron Beak Owl, but then Trump actually has another Fanonize in his hand as well. Yeah. So, kind of baiting a silence, in a sense. Um, and also, because the ghoul is going to trade anyways, right? So if Gar doesn't have one, then effectively Gar is just making Trump's move for him. So, nice play. I like it. And the snake trap getting picked up by Gara. I, we have to assume he's running two freezings, so the mad scientist is gonna get a freezing trap off uh, if that snake trap gets played first. Like no matter what. Uh, Actually, he runs two snakes. Oh, he can't two play the other is. snake. Wow. Wait, wait. Th then you then you have to kill this ghoul because otherwise the snake trap just dies for free, right? Oh man, this is just not working out for Gara at all. Yeah, Gara getting also uh, probably. The mostly useless animal companion doesn't force a snake trap trigger. It doesn't do much, in fact. And now Trump can probably take a sweet uh, time. That's actually the first two damage the guard dealt to Trump. <laughs> and when you're playing Rogue and you're down to 28 at turn 6, you feel pretty safe. Yeah, with the Blade Flurry and a Fan of Knives in hand, I mean, there's it doesn't get much safer. So from Trump's perspective, what could be something that you lose to? Uh, at this point of time... I don't think anything. You have all the answers for everything, right? Like sap for the high main. You have like flurry in, in case Gar floods the board. <laughs> Gar's top decking Argus Squire at this point. I, I like that, that though. In, in his deck with the fin of Argus, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it is kind of cool. But right now, I don't think a turn seven <laughs> one one is gonna do anything. <laughs> what are you talking about, Amaz? Everybody oh. knows the the one one for one is the best play on seven. Jeez, this is so painful. Um, yeah, I don't see how Gar can actually come back in this game. Trump is just doing all the right moves. Alright, so Loseb okay. really didn't change anything here. Now you can even close. It's just a perfect. really good tempo play. Yeah, just just hit the hit the Lo uh, hit the Leoc and Phantom Knights, clear the board. Quite a good dagger. You can even prep a uh, fan to be honest. I'd just like to see prep fan here, I think. You can establish Drake. Mm -hmm. Seems good. A yeah, Drake dagger prep fan is really hard. I mean, Gar is at least gonna get his unleash the hounds value, the little bit that he wanted to get. Oh man. Ah, <sighs> this is not a hunter stream at all. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Everything <laughs> is done. I mean, it's already a really bad matchup, right? Yeah, it is. Um, so it really when is. you compound it with the fact that there's a bad shredder, like that just goes to show that sometimes, like, you'll be getting about say, you know, it's this forty percent win rate consistently uh, with mid range hunter. But when there's a shredder that wipes your board early on, like it did now, that's actually al almost unrecoverable. So Trump's just gonna take the match two to zero, oh, and Gar really not even having a chance there to do anything at all. Nope. And there you go, Trump uh, still continuing on his win streak, looking like uh, he's going to be a, you know, crazy top player soon if he just keeps on going like this, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, crazy streak right now. And uh, Gara's not doing bad though, like in the group, Gara's finishing I think at 3-1, so he's still probably going to be qualifying for the playoffs. But if he won this against okay. Trump, he was uh, pretty much, you know, the first person to be seated in that, uh, in that playoff spot. Okay, and what is uh, Trump's record right now? 3-1 as well, so they're both at the same score. They're, As I said, I think they're both going to qualify for the playoffs, but if okay. Gara took it, he was going to be uh, the first and only player to have a guaranteed spot over there. Okay, well, um, good good on both of these guys then. I think uh, Gara got pretty unlucky in that series overall. 
Um, but Trump played really well, so um, gotta hand it to him, and he deserved to win. Yeah, again, uh, there's a bit, you know, there's skill, and there's a little bit of RNG, and when the shredders fall the wrong <laughs> way, I mean, what can you do? Yeah. Unstable Ghoul, uh, I always call as a joke, but when it happens, it's kind of just uh, disheartening for the Hunter players. So, that being said, guys, we've got another match today. We're going to be casting Forsen versus Stilo. So, if you're a Forsen boy, just you wait, your turn's coming around. In the meantime, we'll be taking a short <laughs> break. And uh, before we go, though, a little shout out to Vulcan for organizing the league and to Squarespace.com. If you don't know about Squarespace, it's a website where you can build your own website. It's pretty easy to use. It looks professional. It's not very expensive. So check them out. Sign up with the code DECKMASTERS. On that note, we'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere.